Hey Stampers, this is Melissa the Stamp Doc. Today I've got a fun project for you using the A Touch of Ink stamp set. This stamp set is a photopolymer stamp set and it is a two-step stamping set. So it's a pretty large stamp set that comes with outline images as well as your colored images from behind. And it's got a lot of great little sentiments with it also. So you can get this stamp set for free with a $100 US order during celebration. And we've only got about two weeks left. So this is definitely a stamp set that I have neglected during celebration, but certainly um, it is so adorable. And I'm gonna show you several card samples made with this one. So you'll definitely want to add it to your list. So we're gonna use a lot of products today that um, are pretty, I've been using quite a bit here on YouTube. And so we're gonna use the Stamparatus. And one of the things I'm going to show you that we're not going to use is the stamp and cut and emboss machine. But for today's project, you're going to want a large die. And I'm using the largest Stitch Shapes Circle die. And then I've got a piece of cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And you're just gonna run that through your stamp and cut and emboss machine. And this is going to create a mask for you. So when you pull that out of the machine, it's going to look like this. And I'm gonna show you ways that you can use both of these, but we're mainly going to focus on this one. So I'm going to start, I have another piece of paper that is also four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to put that into my Stamparatus and I'm lining that right up to the corner there. And then I'm going to be using one of our basic pattern masks. Now, these come in a pack of four. There's three other patterns with those, but these are some pretty heavyweight stencils, and they're a good size. They're probably just about six by six, so they're gonna cover most of your cards. I'm gonna line that up and put that in the corner also. Now, if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and use um, a sponge or ink to go right over that, but I'm going to put our mask on top of that. And then I'm going to use my magnet to hold all of that down in place. Now I've shown you some lately with the blending brushes. I'm going to bring a blending brush in with some Bermuda Bay ink. I'll get that open. And I'm just going to tap that on there a little bit. I'm going to tap it off on my paper some. And then we're just going to start blending into that circle. So what's going to happen is we're going to get these little polka dots just in the area where I've masked off. So I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get, do them pretty dark. Um, you can really decide how dark or light you want them. And you, know, you can always add more color if you want. So. Just going to try to get that as even as possible. Or if you want it a little uneven, you can do that too. So I'm just going to rub that in, get that in all of those little spaces there. And there's a few light spots there. So just get that wherever it needs to go until you're satisfied with the color. And then when I lift that off, so I've got this mask that I can use for other projects. And I've got this one. And you can see I've got this cute little circle with polka dots. So it's kind of fun. The next thing I wanted to use is the little hummingbird stamp. So I'm gonna find the outline of the hummingbird. And I'm gonna position him right inside that circle. So I'm going to figure out right where I want him. I'm going to kind of tilt him a little bit. And again, I'm going to put my magnet down. I'm making sure that that is right there in the corner. I'm going to fold our Stamparatus over. And I'm going to use some black memento ink on that hummingbird. Just get him inked up really good. See how that looks. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead to and go ahead while I've got my black out. I'm going to add 
this little thing that says hello friend I'm gonna put him right there at the top and again I'm just gonna position that and then close my stamparatus up and then we'll get him inked up too but there's lots of great greetings with this one and just a really fun little script so I've got those. I'm going to just take my plate out completely and flip it over so I can use this reverse side over here. And I'm going to use the second part of the hummingbird stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up with the bird and get him on there good. And this particular stamp set, all of them do um, kind of bleed out from the image so it doesn't match up exactly but it's pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up with that same Bermuda Bay ink we used earlier but I'm going to go ahead and stamp off because I don't want it to be super dark and this allows me to control that ink color a little bit better. So I push that down and then I can decide if I want this stamped once or twice that way. So that gives it a nice look. But I'm going to do it one more time just to make it a little darker than the rest of those dots. And again, I'm going to put my paper in there, get some of that extra ink off, and then stamp it again. Okay, and let me just pull that out and show you how that looks. So it's a really neat little masking technique that you can do with your stencils, your blending brush, and using the Stamparatus to hold everything in place just makes it really easy also. So let me show you the finished card. And I just added a little bit of black and white twine to that one. So that is what that looks like. I'm gonna just set it down here. And then here's another one that I did with another image from that set and just says best wishes and I used the little floral image. I did this one the exact same way. I just used Rococo Rose as my ink color instead. And then on this one, I did the circle first in very light Blackberry Bliss and then I did the dots over it. So I used the stencil twice. So just to kind of explain that a little more, I put this one directly over and did a light wash of the Blackberry Bliss. And then I put the stencil down and this over it to do the dots a little bit darker. So it really is another really neat effect with that butterfly image. And then finally, I did this one. And on that one, remember how I said I was going to use the little circle? So all I did there was I took the circle and placed it down and then put the mask over this, putting my magnet there and did the dots all around there. So that created that reverse image. So I'll have pictures of all of these on my blog. The post will be linked in the description below as well as all of the supplies. Now remember, this stamp set is only available through the end of February 2021, and it is free with a qualifying $100 purchase. So you don't wanna let this one go. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll give this technique a try.